Hello and welcome grade 10s to the task video for this topic, particles substances are made of. Let's not waste any time and start with the questions. Question 1. Give the definition for atom, element, compound. Question 2. What particles make up a metallic lattice? What property of metals makes metals good conductors of electricity? Question 3. This diagram shows the lattice for potassium permanganate, KMNO4. The green spheres represent the K plus ions and the blue and yellow spheres represent the MNO4 minus ions. MN is yellow and O is blue. 3.1. What type of crystal lattice is this? 3.2. What forces or bonds hold the ions into this lattice? 3.3. Explain why potassium permanganate does not conduct electricity when solid, but does when dissolved in water. Question 4. One of the lattices in the figure below is an ionic lattice and the other is a metallic lattice. 4.1. Which lattice represents the ionic lattice? Explain your choice. 4.2. Use the key given to give the formula of the compound represented by the compound that you chose as your answer in 4.1. 4.3. Which lattice represents the metallic lattice? Explain. 4.4. Use the key given to give the formula of the compound represented by the compound that you chose as your answer in 4.3. Question 5. This diagram shows a lattice structure. 5.1. Is this an example of a covalent molecular structure or a covalent network structure? Explain. 5.2. Use the key given to give the formula of the compound represented here. Question 6. This diagram shows a lattice structure. 6.1. Is this an example of a covalent molecular structure or a covalent network structure? Explain. 6.2. Use the key given to give the formula of the compound represented here. Question 7. This diagram shows the lattice of Buckminster fullerene. Buckminster fullerene, sometimes known as buckyballs, is a lattice made up of molecules of C60. This means that each molecule is made up of 60 carbon atoms. This compound is found in the soot from burning carbon materials in very little oxygen. Scientists are investigating using this compound in making drugs. The active drug will be attached to the buckyball, which will then deliver the drug to the area needing treatment within the body. 7.1. In what ways is the buckyball lattice similar to the diamond lattice? 7.2. In what ways is the buckyball lattice different to the diamond lattice? 7.3. Why do you think buckyballs are used to carry drugs to different areas of the body? Question 8. Study the compound shown. 8.1. Using the key supplied, give the formula for this compound. 8.2. Is this compound covalently or ionically bonded? Explain. 8.3. What type of lattice will this compound form when in the solid phase? That brings us to the end of the task video. Thank you for joining us in this series. If you had any problems with these questions, please watch the other videos in this series on particles substances are made of and look at the answers in the series guide. Goodbye.